on Hineben Sports 84. Back with another epic video. I was browsing around boxing news and I came across an interest an interesting piece. The title was let me check it real quick. Triple G. A writer actually came up with a notion that Triple G deserves the number one pound for pound ranking. Triple G deserves number one pound for pound rating. I was shocked that an individual can sit down and make an assessment that based on such a performance, he deserves the number one pound for pound. It was unbelievable. Instead of thinking of the robbery that had just taken place in his fight against Danny Jacobson, you have overlooked that and even gone way beyond of awarding you one pound for pound for beating Danny Jacobs. Somebody who was an overwhelming favorite against. The general consensus was that he was going to put Dan Jacobs to sleep. He was going to knock him out. Dan Jacobs had no chance in a fight. And he failed miserably. He needed the help of the judges to win the fight. And despite all this, you come you 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 put online the the assertion that he deserves the number one pound for pound rating. Some people can be really deluded. It's unbelievable. Really deluded. And they all jumped up in weight and beat the number one fighter in that weight class. There was no there was no suggestion of him being number one pound for pound. None. Because he thought he won it by robbery. Triple G had just won a robbery. And you have the guts to to put forward that he deserves the one pound for pound. His fight against Danjo was a clear robbery. He lost that fight. It was a clear robbery. The general consensus before the fight was that Danjigo was no match for him. I think to be a number one pound for pound, you need to fight against the very best in order to attain that that accolade. But before the fight, Danjigo wasn't viewed as the, the very best. The best complete like uh, how would I how would I even put it? He wasn't seen as a threat to Triple G. Because the general consensus was that he wasn't even going to make it to the full 12 rounds. That was a general consensus for anybody who actually thought Gigi was that monster. That was the general consensus. That then Jacob was going to get knocked out. It didn't happen. And people are just trying to overlook that. And still give Triple G the credit of beating Jan Jacobs. At at worst, at the best best case scenario, he was a it was a controversial victory. It was very controversial. All these things are lingering in the background, and you have the gas to write an article that he's number one pound for pound. He even went on to say that yeah, how do how do I how do I <laughs> Triple G is on the level of um, Hagler and Hens, even Roy Jones. Some people can be really deluded. Like it's unbelievable. How can you be so in love with a, a, fight, a fighter to make such outrageous claims? Triple G has fought nobody. Nobody on his resume. There's nobody on his resume. The only time he went against a decent fighter, look at the outcome. You win a fight and you are, run, you are walking around like you lost. There's no, there's no sign to tell me that this guy won the fight. He looks down. He looks like somebody who knows he lost the fight. He knows it. And when it was time to raise uh, the hand of the champion, you can tell from Triple G's face that he was terrified. That he was going to lose. He was terrified. It was written on his... You, you can tell from his expression. His demeanor that the guy was terrified that he was going to lose the fight. People are just, they, they don't want to talk about those things. It doesn't bother them. All they want is because they're so in love with Triple G, nothing else matters. He can't do any wrong. You have the guts to tell me Triple G is number one pound for pound. How on earth? 
if and the world doesn't deserve it, Triple G deserves it with this performance. A knockout artist, you are supposed to be duck, knocking the guy out, and you take him to 12 rounds, he still deserves number one pound for pound. How does that? How does that add up? It doesn't even make any sense. What you are known to be doing, you didn't do it. You are rather exposed. You have been your flaws are have been a display for everybody to see that you are not who they thought you are. You are portrayed as this monster, this knockout artist who just run through everybody, and now you can't display those qualities anymore. You have been exposed. Everybody is seeing right through you now, and you still deserve the one pound for pound. Wow, that's unbelievable. I just, I don't, I couldn't believe it that someone can sit down and write a whole article about this. It's unbelievable. How on it? In fact, you know, even uh, how do you call it? <laughs> Been through a number of weight classes. You've only stayed in one weight class. Look at the history of all the. Uh, pound for pound fighters they fall they fall like make progress in different weight classes they've moved up at least two weight classes you perform in two weight classes most of the fighters who have attained that that crown have been through that Mayweather did that Pacquiao did that Roy Jones did that even Chocolatito went through different weight classes proved himself in different weight classes this guy has stayed in one weight class fought mediocre opponents and the only time he came against a decent guy, he was found wanting. They had to rob the, the fight in order to give him the victory. And you have the gas to come online and say, hey, this guy is number one pound for pound. I can't take such a person seriously. You can't be taken seriously. You can't. You just cannot be taken seriously. It's pathetic. The sort of, uh, how do you call it? To see people, people like this. You're not finished talking about the robbery of a match that has been given to Triple G. You, you are even talking about number one pound for pound. It's a shame. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be surprised. Most of Triple, G, Triple G's fans are, are shameless. So, I, could, I couldn't have expected anything less. It's a shame. If I was a Triple G fan, I wouldn't even have the guts to come on here to, to defend him. Because this wasn't what I was expecting of him. You were supposed to run through Danny Jacobs. That is the, the the general consensus. And you couldn't do it. You were hesitant even even in the fight, if you analyze the fight itself. The guy was hesitant to let his hands go. He was really cautious. It's like he was scared of Danny Jacobs Danny Jacobs punches. He was scared of the how do you call it? He was scared to be counted. He was really reluctant to let his hands go was cautious and you never know him to be like that why? why why was that the case because he knew that then jacob wasn't like the, those other fighters who he was fighting and if he was careless he could get knocked you get knocked out that was the reason why this guy is no number one pound for pound he should